Okay, so we're gonna show bleeding the brakes on a Gen 2 Prius. This applies to most Toyota and Lexus hybrids. And I've showed this before and people have encountered issues. I really recommend just following the steps. If anything goes wrong, it'll set a code and then it won't let you try again. So you are better off to have a scan tool, although I'm gonna show it and if I don't make any mistakes, I won't need a scan tool. So the car will sort of get in a ready to turn on mode if I open the door and we'll hear the ABS pump rattle a little bit and build up pressure. And if we don't turn the car on, it will try and maintain pressure. And this is all so you can jump in and fire the car up and your brakes are ready for you. So once I open the door, I'll put this pedal depressor in and that I'll slightly depress the brake pedal, maybe an inch or two. So we'll start here and we'll hear it. There it goes. Clattering away. So it's pumping up, building pressure. That's what we want. Now the car is off and you have to have a good 12 volt battery because that's what's powering this whole thing. So I'm gonna hook the pedal depressor and one person recommended using just a carpentry clamp and reversing the jaws. So I'll just go there. I'm about two inches down with the pedal and I'll come over here. Now, let me pause here and show you. If you go below the minimum level, this line here and let the fluid pump out below here, it'll stop and set an error code. So that's, I think, one area where a lot of people encounter a problem. So we'll just come over here, and as soon as I open this bleeder valve, I hear it pumping. It is trying to maintain pressure. Okay, so now it's pumping away, and it really is pumping quickly. I mean, it's filling this bottle up. And let's go over to the ABS pump, and we'll hear it just going. Put the mic over by it. So it's pumping and sucking down this fluid. Rear? Alright, she's open. Okay, so nothing's happening. And it, it may eventually start, but and you can see the line of fluid isn't moving. So let's just try. Brakes, not oh, we forgot to depress the brake pedal. Let's look at how much we're going to depress it. One, two, three, four. All right, it's moving. Good. Here yeah, it goes. It goes. Hear the clicking? Yeah, it's pumping right through there. It's just filling this guy up. So that's basically all there is to it. The same on the fronts. One thing to experiment with if you're not having success is uh, how far the pedal's depressed. Another would be to open the door and make sure 12 volt battery in the back here is charged. You might want to put a charger on it. And then lastly, just make sure if the car is on, it's not going to work. Now I have had people comment on my other video that they really got stuck trying to do this procedure at home. And you know that very likely could have been simply by drawing the fluid down too far below the minimum mark and then the car throws a code and stops. And at that point you really need a professional scan tool to clear that code. And that's why I always have this scan tool with me when I do this process. Um, all that said, we went ahead and bled the brakes on this vehicle without having to use the scan tool. Um, but I was glad to have it just in case. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.